It had a six-barreled uh, cartridge on one side, and uh, the pilot would rotate the barrel and pull the trigger and start his engine. But uh, primarily nowadays, we use the electric start. Okay, Paul here wants to say something. No, no, it's not going to be a pitch. Uh, because you talk so much, I uh, I have nothing more to say except that I thought maybe it would be interesting to talk about uh, uh, maybe what we encountered as uh, maintenance uh, over. I I only been with Vintage Wings for a year now, and uh, within that year, you know our airplanes look really you know nice and everything, but uh, there were there is quite a bit of maintenance to do to fly. And uh, well, some of the maintenance that we do have to do is uh, you know we'll take off the plugs. Uh, Sometimes you'll have a, a mag that'll be, a, you know, you'll do a mag drop to check, and uh, your RPM will, will fall, below, uh, fall below 75, right or left. So you have to clean out some of the plugs, but, uh, you know, there's uh, it's a 12 cylinder and you got two plugs, so that's 24 plugs you got to take off and clean up. And the uh, inside ones here are pretty nasty to get to. Um, so you also have to take off the leads to, to do that, and then uh, clean the uh, the tip of the leads. You know, make sure that those aren't you know all gummed up uh, as well. What can you do? Uh, well, we we change the oil uh, roughly around every 25 hours, Andre. Yeah, the aircraft with the screen with the screen type filters don't don't have a uh, spin on like in a car. Usually 25 hours is the oil changes. And then uh, we have the spin-on type filters. Uh, we go to 50 hours on the oil. And uh, capacity was it 12? Yeah, there's about 12, 12 and 15 gallons of oil, depending on what aircraft. Yeah, so if you want liters, you're like times four, and uh, a case is like a hundred dollars. So <laughs> you know, the expensive oil changes, you know. So yeah, and of course, you know, the the for the front wing even more oil, so that's another aspect of aircraft to, to maintain. It's the same with the Mustang as well. So, um, what else uh, maintenance that we had to do? Uh, well, uh, fuel up uh, every day, you know, when they go out. Uh, they, they drink a lot of fuel. Uh, anything else? Uh, real problem with uh, what we experienced early on in the vintage wing operation, or not vintage wings operation, but vintage warbird operation with Merlin is the the cans and the, the fingers and followers uh, were being chewed up a lot uh, in operation. A lot of the guys now, they uh, incorporate pre-oilers on the engines, which uh, they run before they start the engine, every time before they start the engine. Uh, usually what it does, what the primary reason for that is not just to overbear to get oil to them, but the, uh, the reason they got started pre-oiling was the cam and the, the cam racks up top. So what happened is uh, if when the engine starts without any oil, for pre-oiling, there's a, a basic metal to metal on the fingers of the candles, and a lot of the times uh, they would start wearing out. It, they're chrome, the fingers are chrome-plated, and uh, between uh, 12 thou to 6 thou chrome plate, and that would easily wear out. Nowadays, a lot of the guys are going over to uh, what's called Merlin fingers. It's a tungsten in a pad welded back into the fingers of the Merlin. Unfortunately, it's too bad we don't have the rocker cover that I can show you better what uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, 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 Propeller maintenance. Uh, generally, you drive two different types of propellers with Merlin. You have Dowdy Rotol, which is a uh, wood composite blade with a uh, steel or uh, alloy uh, hub, and uh, a uh, Hamilton standard uh, propeller, four bladed, like on our Mustang, uh, which is uh, all aluminum blade and uh, alloy hub. Um, Usually the uh, they're pretty li really maintenance free. You just oil them, lubricate them, and uh, Actually variable pitch. they are variable pitch. The, each of them are controlled by a governor, which is usually located uh, on the uh, on this on the front end of the engine, but on the opposite side in the same kind of pad that you see there, which is the Paul's blogging. Uh, 
normally it's controlled by oil pressure through the, the crankshaft and the, the propeller dome, and basically through a, a set of a piston and a gear a gear train that rotates the blade to the pitch selected by the pilot, and then uh, depends on the uh, engine RPM. The uh, basically the engine tries to uh, maintain that RPM with oil pressure. Um, maintenance wise, they're pretty uh, pretty simple. The, uh, one little fact is the Dowdy Rotol with the uh, wooden composite blade, they are usually put on hurricanes and pit fires that fought in the bottle of the back of the German. And now, to today, the only place to get a uh, spit fire or a hurricane blade is in Germany. So, it's only the German street. <laughs> so, yeah, like on Seiko, like you, you're going to take a How, if I find that you got full fine pitch on takeoff, which is basically uh, uh, giving you the fastest rotation you can get, and then once you get into uh, it's basically like first gear, and once you get up into climb, uh, once you take off, you, you normally you pull back a little power, and you reduce the RPMs as well. You get up in the cruise, and then uh, depends on the aircraft type and the cruising speed that you want, and the fuel burn. Uh, uh, you pull back. Now you want the propeller to spin up, and the faster, the more revolution you get. And plus, yeah, you'll be loading the engine. Yeah, the engine's a little bit of a bit of a bit of a bit Any other questions? Did you ever have to serve as a counter rotating truck? No, I never had the uh, chance to serve as a counter rotating I've seen some, but I've never had to work on it. I've seen it out there. Uh, have you? No, I've never worked on them. They're, they're pretty interesting. I've seen I've uh, seen them like on the uh, uh, Shackleton's and uh, uh, aircraft like that. Even the Mark uh, 14 Spitz, I believe, had or 24s. Yeah, had the counter rotating props. On Griffin powered engines. Yeah. Any other questions for myself before I hand it over to? Uh, well, my was there was there a crew for spot where you had to change the the pitch, otherwise you just didn't get enough airspeed or or something happened? Uh, on in say on the spin on takeoff. On takeoff? Yeah. Was there a Yeah, it's just like uh, my decathlon is a variable pitch plus, same, same principle. Yeah, yeah, take, after takeoff, you're establishing the pond, pull the power back. Full rated horsepower, this is uh, 1,730, 1,735 horsepower, and uh, that would probably be at altitude on, on, on the ground uh, at sea level. It's probably uh, just, I think it's about 14 or 15 hundred dollars What model Merlin? What model Merlin would that be? That would be uh, like we were talking about the uh, uh, 60, 66 series, the two stage two speed, um, two, yeah, supercharged engine, uh, or 266, which is basically the same thing. Uh, you probably didn't break down. They probably just overheated, so we shut the engine down and let it cool off. Uh, the same exact engine in the Mustang doesn't have that problem. The Mustang could uh, uh, run without uh, uh, worrying about too much about uh, cooling. Primarily, it was designed to they put
We don't operate coffins car, uh, anymore from uh, the car transport system. We're strictly an uh, electric car. We don't run them with fireworks like that. Uh, well,